Hey everyone, Jodas here. It's here reviewing the Transformers War for Cybertron's Warrior Class Cyclonus. Now, Cyclonus, he is a. I think it's at Series 2. I think it might be Series 2, I'm correct. Now, this figure came out the Hasbro 2021. Now, he is a the warrior of the Sethicons. Now, for most of you who are not familiar with this character, he has never appeared in the War for Cybertron TV series. Now, he has first appeared as Transformers the movie along with Galvatron and Scourge everyone else. Now, if you're not who the Cyclonus is, he is a former of the Septicon of Spoiler, which is Skywarp and Bombshells, who got badly damaged after the Autobot City, who are the site who throw away in the dumb space thanks to Starscream, who throw away from the Astro Train, goes into a deep space, eventually picked up by Unicron. Who will later become Mercer's DNA and became Cyclonus. And that's about the character is. He is a former, he is interesting, he came fan fear, his mysterious character. So, in that case. So, anyway, that's about the end. So, let's have a look at figure itself, Cyclonus. Now, the figure itself, Cyclonus, he is based on a fighter jet, future Cybertron jet. He looks very accurate from the movie counterparts. Like his jet. Now the weapons. Now he comes with taking the. Let's go peg holes. It comes with a blaster. Nice little silverish plastic. Just a plastic. It's got a little hole on this. I think now a good job looks detailed looks. As for the vehicle itself, it looks pretty nice. Look at detail. It's really like it's purple. Now in the movie or the show, it's believed that was purple. Slice so purple violet. Blue, I can't remember this. I guess look it up. I think it looks color details. I like this. I do really like has has a cockpit. Is kind of looks like orange. I thought it was a red, like in the movie. It was his cones, nice little detail. And down the bottom, there's no robot jumps. It has little linen gears. Now, unfortunately, there's no wheels. Pretty unfortunately. If you push them in here, it looks like that. Make it look like it's playing this. Now, the transform to Cyclonus is pretty simple. First, to do is unpeg his. Uh, let's see. First, to do is open the cockpit. Now, see. If, oh. First, is unpeg his. We'll connect just that and oh first unconnect we'll change them then it closes Get a little tight. Now next to do let's open his little cones. This cone here. Now let's start opening his. Oh. Oh. Oh crap! I heard snapping. I'm very scared. What if his break is. No. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, first he rotates the back. And then just open his back. Kind of a little hard to see. Well, you don't see it. And start a roof. Hey, his. Close it. Then I'll rotate around the cyclone's head. 
now oops I went the wrong side there's like one's head this is gonna really pain now I'll start to connect here and also start rotating on the back start to close and here <sighs> arm stretching out now what to do is rotate start rotating your wrist do exactly the same And that was it. So here is Cyclonus in his robot mode. Now this figure of Cyclonus, he looks very look 100% as show accurate. Looks as just like an anime series. The paint detail looks pretty nice. It looks just like the anime series. Now the figure of Stan is about... <laughs> he's about... Uh... Six and a half inches. No, I think it's. Hmm. I believe the six and a half inches, almost the seven inches, because of the horn designs. Now, size comparison wise, here's next to Galvatron. Here's next to Galvatron. He is really taller compared to the others in the deluxe class. He is pretty taller compared to the other deluxe class. Here's next to the Sergeant Cup. Now, he is pretty smaller in case. Now, the weapons I mentioned early. Now, the weapons I mentioned early has a blaster. He goes hold to his hand to fit his right hand. Is. Here, the blaster is ready to shoot. And now let's take a look at the head sculpt. Now the head sculpt for the Cyclones is kind of hard to see. I think Cyclones looks pretty accurate. It looks pretty good. It looks just like he did. It looks very looks truly accurate as seeing the anime series from the 80s. I like his helmets are purples or and his blue is. I like his eyes are red. Or then kind of looks like his orange eyes. I thought it looks like red eyes. Almost did. I like how it has the shadows, the details. I like how it has this printing on the Decepticon logo. I think it nailed a good job. He has a little, has a stomach with orange. I like how it has detail. It shows the rest of the back. It has a little peg hole in the back as weapons. I think it's a really nice thing. The only complaint was really strange and actually have. You can actually see, looks like he's got yellowish legs and Forearms and neck. Well, you don't see it. Or that's just weird, but it kind of looks like how this is. Maybe because the air condition is this heat condition, because it's most of the paint is silver or white or turned. Yeah, that's kind of really creepy. That's just scary, because what if the paints get ruined? Now, my only. Com not much complaint to see here in, in details. Now, sadly, he does not come with a target master like Nightstick. I would be nine with the like to see it. Now, there is a variant for Cyclonus. Now, there is a there is a variant for Cyclonus. There is generation sled of Cyclonus that looks like the same old, except the stickers are based on the vintage figure from the nineteen eighty six. So, yeah, I guess it looks pretty much it looks cool. One. Now, as far as our question for Cyclonus. It does get head to rotating for CC degrees. It does get up and down, side to side. His arms goes up and down, goes in and out that much. He has a thighs of soul, then a yellow. It does get rotate, the wrist can rotate. He has wrist can kind of rotate wrist. He has wrist rotate, kind of a little tight. 
it does have swivel waist, looks nice. It's leg is forward and back, there was any of that much. It has a nice hole, then the knee. It also has a weird double knee because it's transformation. And finally is ankle to side to side. Ankle side to side. So that's about our articulation for Cyclones. So there's my review of the Transformers Kingdom Class War Voyager Class Cyclonus. Overall, it's actually a pretty decent figure. Looks pretty accurate. I really like his detail. I really like his head skull. I like his weapons, the detail. The vehicle come out is kind of fun. It looks more accurate. But I kind of really wish it would have more detail on the... Hmm. I mean, you're a fan of the, the Transformers Generation 1 or the Galvatron's Henchmen or the Gavatron's henchmen, or you want to buy the Cyclones, make an army building of the Warriors. I think it's a high recommend you check them out of this. So I hope you enjoy this one. Be sure to forget to like, share, and subscribe for reviews. For more, I hope you see you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to forget to like and share and subscribe. Let us know in the comments. So thanks for watching and goodbye.